Hi, my name is Jason Warner. I'm with One Water Technology, and today I'm going to do a technology review on TCON dual membrane digester covers. As far as the agenda, I'm going to introduce One Water and TCON dual membranes. I'm going to give you my thoughts on moder modern biogas membrane systems, talk about some reference projects, and why One Water, why TCON as a partner for your application. Uh, this, real quick, is a, a an installation outside the Baltimore area, TCON covers, service platforms, and a access box for high solids mixers. As far as One Water Technologies, we are the manufacturer's rep in the United States. We have experienced staff. I've been in the wastewater business 25 years, been into a lot of digesters, been a part of a lot of rehab projects, concrete roofs, steel roofs, membranes been on a lot of installations and, and we bring that knowledge to every project that we have. We're based in, in Cleveland, Ohio. As far as TCON, I'll start with this map on the right. Uh, this is all the, all the countries in blue uh, are where we have installations. And on one hand you say, hey, why, why does that matter to me? I'm in, I'm in the United States and, and don't necessarily care that, uh, that there's these projects all over the world. But I'll say that you know, we have installations in Southeast Asia. You're exposed to very high winds, typhoon rains. We have installations in North Africa. Uh, you're right there at the equator, so UV is, is very high. We're in a variety of industries, you know, uh, distilleries down in S South America. Uh, we're in sugarcane manufacturing and where you have applications with the hydrogen sulfides in excess of 10,000 parts per million. So, um, you know, we have, we have Lots of municipal waste, but lots of other industries. And so the, the system gets tested and, and really validated throughout the world, different weather, UV, uh, you know, in, your, in desert applications, you have sandstorms. And then the quality of labor varies uh, throughout the world. There's some applications where the workers that, are, that have been set up to do the installation have never used a power tool. And so the, the supervisors that we sent out really need to have a system that uh, goes together easy and, and, and many different type of workers can install. When you're doing installations in the United States and we have you know, great uh, labor, great craftsmanship, uh, the, the installations go very, very well. Um, I'll say that the company was installed in 2000. We do have installations uh, d dating 20 plus years with a single uh, or with the original membranes. And so, so many of our installations have, have reached that 20 year milestone. We're working on our 3000th installation. We do expect to surpass that this year in 2025. And the company's still privately held. And so, you know, I guess I would trans the, the way that that translates for me is that it's still very personable and most issues can be solved uh, with a phone call or text. Uh, and and uh, we're still very nimble and human as a company. As far as modern membrane systems, um, maybe I'd make a contrast between many of the installations that are, that are done in uh, Europe versus the United States. I think that's a, a nice way to simplify it. But in Europe, there's 10,000 digesters. They don't have a lot of the natural gas resources that we have in the United States, the, the propane resources. And so they really have to kind of look around where there's organics or where there's opportunity to harvest biogas. And, and they've done an excellent job at that. About two thirds of the projects in Europe are developed by private sector entities. And so there is a really significant push to be cost competitive and to, to build really reliable systems that don't need much um, operator attention. And so generally you see systems there with that operate at lower pressure, lower pressure meaning you know below 10 inches of water column or less. You see a lot of installations in the four or five inches of, of water column. And generally there's some correlation between the operating pressure and how long a system system lives. And so when you can operate down sub 10, you can, you can get these systems that last 15 or 20 years pretty, pretty easy. Um, in systems in, in modern design, the controls have become much simpler. Um, I'm gonna show you an example of how uh, the entire system for, for a site uh, serving 2 million people uh, is, is controlled, but there's no PLCs, there's not a lot of instrumentation and things are passively protected. So PLCs can fail, instruments can fail, and you know the system just keeps on operating. And, and again, I'd, I'd say because of that competition, there, there's 10,000 digesters in Europe, 3,000, and that's 3,000 total, both steel, concrete, and membrane digesters in the United States has, has caused a lot of innovation. So this is that, um, the whole control system for a site in, in Vienna uh, this site serves a population of 2 million people, and there's actually two units like this. So let's say that this is the control system for 
for biogas for a million people. And basically what you're looking at is the air outlet from the outer membrane. It goes through this outlet and this coupon, the, the steel coupon there has a counterweight and it's a flap that, that opens or seats depending on what, what's going inside in the digester. So let's say the, the gas use is stable, then the air that is blown into the, to the space is exhausted out and the counterweight here is what sets the whole system pressure for the whole life of the, of the system. So if, if you set it up, say at 10 inches of water column and you didn't want to change it over the life of the unit, you would set these counterweights, calibrate it, test it, and set the system into operation and, and walk away. This, this photo here is the uh, side profile. And here we put a hazardous uh, gas monitor. So we're looking for a methane in this case. And, and over the life of this unit, you can see no methane for the, say, let's call it 15 year life. And then somewhere between that 15 and 20 year life, we might uh, see, uh, start detecting some methane. And that would be a signal that the inner membrane either needs some maintenance or it's time for, for it to be replaced. So I'll, I'll emphasize this again. Uh, TCON is, is a very simple system. We have thousands of installations. Many have exceeded 20 years of continuous service. Typically the blower that blows into the, the airspace, uh, it runs at two horsepower in, in larger units, it's three horsepower, but it's a constant speed blower with a constant purge. The, the pressure setting is, is set by a mechanical uh, damper that, that has a calibrate or a, a, a counterweight that's, that's set at startup. There's no differential pressure controls, no PLCs, no cable systems. On many of the systems that you see in the United States, they put a armoring around the outside and that, that those cables can tangle or they can abrade the membrane and, and shorten life. And so when you can operate below that, say 10 inches of water column and, and, the, and the actual number varies depending on how the size of the unit, but that's a nice round number. You can get away with, with not using uh, those cables and, and still get long life. And again, we set the damp, damper counterweight and walk away for years. So I want to go through some uh, reference installations. Uh, this one is the one we touched on a little bit uh, in the beginning. Um, two 92 footers just outside the, uh, the Baltimore Metro. Uh, on this, I'm going to show the year of installation and the, and the time it takes. One great thing about membranes is, is they basically go together in a week. So in this installation, we got two done in seven days. This is a site in Germany, and maybe I'll just draw your attention, one, to the dimensions. This is 262 feet long by 131 feet wide, 65 feet tall, and in this photo is actually a person. And maybe you say, well, I'm not interested in 1.5 million cubic feet, kind of basically utility scale biogas storage. But the point I would want to make for you, you know, somebody that might have a 50, 60 or 80 foot digester is that the quality and craftsmanship that it takes to put together a 262 foot cover and ball the seams and make sure there's no leaks. When you're able to execute at this scale, then it makes doing digesters at the, the 50 to 60 foot range, you, you know, kind of a piece of cake. This is a site in, from Japan and a lot of our customers really are transitioning towards these high solid mixers. So this is a, an access box and you can see that same box looking from below. And so there's a, a, a rail that the mixer slides down. And then this is kind of a rare view of the cable system or there's a, a belt system inside the digester. And so in, the, in a vacuum condition where the, the biogas is being withdrawn from the downstream unit at a high rate, the inner membrane comes down and sits on a, a set of belts. And so you can see those blue suspension belts here. Another thing that this photo highlights is you know, typically we do install a scaffold so that we can safely install the cover. And so that ends up being a, 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 a modest fraction of the cost uh, of, uh, you know, it's a significant component of the actual installation installation costs. This is a site in South Carolina, basically just shy of 80 feet. It's installed in three, three days, and this was back in 2012. This is a site in Slovenia, and I want to point out an element here. We got two 92 footers and, and six 79 footers, but, but one approach that we can take, and this is something that we discuss with sites that have a lot of units, is you can operate all eight of these units at very low pressure. Let's say at four or five inches of water column, everything um, is not stressed. It gets to last a long time. And then at the very outlet, 
we can install a, a small booster station so we can take that that gas pressure from the four or five inches that we're operating at and boost it up to 18 or 20 or, or whatever the downstream needs is and you know a, a blower booster station like that is in the order of tens of thousands of dollars and so you can you can get a lot of life out of your system keep it really simple and then still deliver pressure at, at uh, whatever pressure you like so as, as far as uh, YT con uh, we're proven across the world in a wide range of applications both in municipal wastewater and, and plenty of different industry a very high quality highly experienced manufacturing team the same team has been together for all 25 year history of, of the of, of the company and so when systems are delivered there's been so much feedback you know, from the field back to the factory that as the covers are unfolded, the parts are laid out in the order that they need to be installed. And so these systems go together very easily and um, the installation is very, very smooth. Again, simple operation, long lasting and personal service that uh, if you need something, I'm available uh, and, and everybody at the company is, is just a phone call away. So I'm going to close with this. I appreciate your attention. My name is Jason Warner. My phone number is 216-710-6514. Or you can reach out to me by email or catch me on our website. Anyway, appreciate your time. Thank you. Bye now.